Oh. Oh. Ooh. That was a big one. Um, just kind of tell me what the main concern is. Like, where do you want me to spend the most time on you? Most time yeah. is definitely neck, shoulders, upper back, mid back area. Okay. And and then and lower back also. Okay. That's just but. The biggest issue for me is that is that mid and upper plus the neck and shoulder area, it just gets so stiff and I'm just in pain. Okay. Yeah. Does it pretty much hinder you through the day? Like you're not able to... Yeah, it's just... stopping you from doing... I'm just... It doesn't, it doesn't really stop me from doing anything. I'm just uncomfortable throughout the whole day. Okay. Yeah. So you're just kind of feeling it through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then is there anything that you do to make it feel better? Uh, chiropractic care. Chiropractic care. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And massages, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then anything that makes it worse? Um, no, nothing that makes it, uh, standing too long. Standing, okay. Standing too long, um, walking hours and hours. Uh, it's like if I go to like Disney Park with my baby. Okay. And I'm just walking. Okay. Um, that makes it worse. But okay. other than that, no, nothing else. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll start feeling around. I'll keep asking you questions. Yeah. Here. yeah so no here, just go ahead and sit up as straight as you can for me. Are you sore right now? Yeah, I'm a little sore, just a little... Still tense? Yeah. Okay. Just feels tight. Yeah, I can feel all through here. Okay. And then I always, like, I've been having a problem this problem for a long time, right in that, this left area, this one right here. in this area. Okay. It's been, it's always just been a problem. Okay. Like this whole, like, right in here, like right in there, it's okay. always been a problem. Okay. Yeah. And how long have you had this pain in the shoulder? Oh, years, years. Okay. Yeah. And then you, I know when we were in your chart and we we're going over it, but you said you also played football. Yep. Fo football, basketball. Um, I've been in a few car accidents. Woo that won't help you. Yeah. Here, my physique there's a hat off now. So yeah, yeah. No worries. I'm just gonna start feeling. Yeah. Okay, you can leave right there. Yep. That's good. I'm just gonna hold the head up for you. Just feeling, feeling the joint space, feeling how the neck moves. Yeah, I do feel like how this whole left side is all puffed out on you. Yeah. It's easy for me to push through into these joint spaces here, but over here, these muscles are hypertoned. Yeah. So they've been working too much. And it goes all the way down on your left side. And then this is where the right side happens on this side. Okay. Yeah. So on you, I do notice you have this crease in the bottom of your neck here. Mm -hmm. So what this means is this is where most of your motion is happening. Okay. okay. This guy is being the only, probably one of the only ones that's actually doing most of your movement for you. I do have no crease up here in the upper neck. So the upper neck is locked up and all of that workload is going here. Gotcha. And most people have their neck surgeries at C5, C6. Uh, okay? okay. Which is right down here where you're having that motion. Okay. So we need to start dispersing this workload and start putting it more up in here to try to save this guy. Okay. Okay. Same thing happens with the low back. Low back most commonly has back surgeries at L4, L5, okay? And that's usually because the rib cage gets locked up. You have this huge structure in your back mm -hmm. that just stops working. And that happens from being hunched over at your desk over time. So what I'm gonna have you do with where I train you is starting to come back here to try to straighten this out. Okay. So that way this guy can start taking up some of the work and this guy can relax. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. All right. No, uh, no numbness, tingling. No, I don't like that. More stiff and uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah. Here, I'm just gonna test. Do your range of motion here for me. So look up, look up for me. There you go. Look up as much as you can. There you go. Good. Go ahead and look straight. Go ahead. Go ahead and look to your right for me. Good. Go ahead and look left. Good. And yeah, left side moves all day. Right side feels like it's like kind of stopping you. Oh yeah. Moving to the right. Yep. You can feel how tight that feels up in yeah, like You can feel tightness up in here. Mm -hmm. That's not able you, sorry, it's enabling you from turning your head right. this way. But when you turn your head to the left, it just goes all day. This guy down here is doing most of your rotation for you. Right. Turn it that way. But I don't see anything up here really working. This is all stuck. Okay. Okay, look straight. And then go ahead and look down for me. As you can. Yeah, look down, it's good. All right, go ahead and look straight. Good. And then you said the shoulders, let's see how the shoulders are moving. So what I'm going to have you do for the shoulder, I'm going to have you do the shoulder, come open over like this for me. Okay. With the right one. Okay. Yeah, a little bit decreased, definitely tight through here. Okay, go ahead and relax that one. 
Do the same thing with the left one. A little bit better. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and relax that one. All right, now I'm gonna test the bottom range of motion, so take them around like this for me. Okay. 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 Yep, definitely still tight through here. Okay, go ahead and relax. Do the same thing with the left one. About the same. All right, so we'll try to see if we can help that out, try to get you to be able to reach behind you a little bit better. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. Relax that one. And then just let me know when I'm pushing too much, okay? Look yeah, I can tell the Cairo's been down the lower neck. He's 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 made that all loose for you. Yeah, but the upper neck needs some of the attention though. Mm -hmm. you need to start adjusting the upper neck. This upper neck is all tight. The upper neck is what's meant to move your head. The lower neck is really just meant for weight bearing. Just meant to carry your head around. Right. You know, the lower neck is really for backing out of the driveway, turning your head to look over your shoulder is really what the lower neck does. But it doesn't really help you much with your other 50% of range of motion, which is where you live most of the day. Right. Looking from like left to right in your field of view. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can feel how tight this guy is yeah, up there. Yeah, I can. It feels so tight. Like, yeah, we can just get this guy moving for you. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be a whole new world for you. And when you're when you're when you're putting your pressure on it, it hurts, but it, it hurts so good. <laughs> right. It's, 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 <laughs> it's the good. It's the good pain. Yeah. It's like yes, that's where I need it. Yeah, I can. Feel the stress going away. Yeah. Yeah, we're just stretching him out here. Just going into the joint space is just kind of true. As I was saying to you before, we're training these joints to look back. Okay, it's the whole thing. Whole thing is to kind of go back. We don't want you living in the the forward posture world. Right. That's where we are. You know, ninety percent of our day. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Adjust the neck. Relax the head for me. There you go. Man. Mm. Just that one joint. That's all we want. Here, relax the head. Relax over my head. There you go. Wow. That moved nice. How'd that feel? Felt great. Feel good? Mm -hmm. Alright. What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you come on up and I'm going to have you on your stomach, okay? Alright, here, I'm going to straighten you out a little bit, alright? Alright. You're a little bit... Do you, like, do you feel straight right now? Uh... Like, do you feel like your feet are over your head? I'm curious. No, not really. No? I, I, I think I do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I'm straight. How about now? Uh, that's, that's straight? Yeah, it's straight. Oh wow, your no, I feel feet, off. Yeah, yeah, your feet are right below your head. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow, that, yeah. No, do you, does you feel like your feet are more over your right side now? Yeah. Than to your left? Yes. Okay. Yeah, just from you laying down, I could see that you had a little bit of a torsion here in the hips. Yeah. Hips were bringing you this way. So we gotta try to drop this back down and push that away. Like I can already feel how it's all, this is just stuck. And you can see the right one, a little bit of motion. Yeah. Uh, that one, and you go to left. Oh, yeah. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just testing out the back. the hips here. This one says, the way I do this one is I just reach over the, just right here next to the thigh and I just lift. Okay. okay. And I just push in here. Good. 
Oh, good. That's it. This one, take a deep breath in for me. All the way up. Ooh. Ooh. Good. That felt good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Deep breath. Nope, oh. that, one's, that one's stuck. Breath in for me. That's it. Okay. Breath in. A little breath in for me. Oh. Oh. Ooh. That was a big one. Yeah. One more time. Okay. There we go. Wow, your mo your back moves nicely though. Oh, yeah. I feel great. Yeah, this guy help these hips. Alright, All right, now comes the hard part. <laughs> Justin's easy. You know, massage therapy stuff, muscle work, oh, that's much harder. <laughs> Justin's feel nice, and feel good. And then you get Dr. Max to do his elbow on here, you're like, no! <laughs> Whatever helps. Yeah. No, I feel like incorporating massage therapy with the scraping and the adjustments, that's what gets you better the quickest. Yeah. Sounds good to me. You know, I... Lower mid back is all tight on you. Yeah. Doesn't feel too good. But again, you know, just let me know if I'm working too much. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Just kind of let me know where the line is. I'm going in the glutes. Bit of the IT band into the TFL. That hurts right there. Yeah. Okay. I'll go a little lighter. How's that? Yeah. A little better. Okay. You're getting pretty close though to feel more neutral, is though. Yeah, that's crazy though. Like you actually got closer that time. To being straight and the first time you laid down. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm like I'm like curved right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm but kinda this is straight, though. that's crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to train the spine against this curve. You do have a little bit of a curve going down this low back. Okay. And it's just pushing out this whole side. I'm just, I'm just looking at the curvature right now. So the hips want to come up this way and it's pushing the spine out this way. Uh -huh. So what we gotta do is we gotta try to push that spot, push the spine back over this way uh -huh. to push this hip back down. Cause right now it's pushing up, pushing this out. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna push the spine, this part of your back out this way. Okay. Okay. So it kind of does this little bit of a switch. It usually comes over here, but I know you've been complaining more about the left shoulder. Yeah. So that could have been more likely of an injury that's happened in the past. Probably that's compressed that. Okay. And it just kind of goes down this side. And then at some point it switches to your right. And then it goes back over to your left. Okay. All right. Just doing my elbow first and then we'll get to the scraping a little bit after this one. Yeah, no problem. Just kind of help loosen it up first and... Yeah, 
because those, those areas right there, yeah, um, cut the water right there. Yeah, I can feel the muscles over them are tight because it's hard for me to even get to the to the joint spaces. Yeah, I can feel it right down there. Yeah. Okay. Don't go keep breathing. Breathe. When was the last time you got cupping done? Uh, two, three months ago. Three months, okay. Yeah, two, three months ago. Alright, well it's about time then. I think about doing it again tonight. Okay. I don't know, you've scraped my gut too much yeah, reason for it. Yeah, yeah. I think you might be... That might be it. I think, I think you'd be good. Yeah. Pretty nervy through here. It's all congested. Doing good. Okay. Now what I'm doing here is what we call nerve flossing. I'm just flossing right over these joint spaces to help break up this congestion that's surrounding these nerves. And that's why it's very tender through here. This nerve is just being overly compressed. Okay, 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 that's our little break. Ooh, right there, okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's that hurts too. Yeah, these hips are just, they're locked up. Yeah. So, when the hips get like this, all that motion goes down here in the low back. Uh -huh. And that's what kills this guy. Right. Because this doesn't work, and the hips lock up. So the only guy that's left to work to give you any kind of motion is this guy down here. Right. But this guy is, real, is not meant for much motion. He's only meant to move you five degrees. Okay. He's not meant for a whole lot. He's really just to carry your whole spine, your whole body. Right. He's not meant to move. But when these guys lock up, he's got no choice. All right. What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you come up onto your elbows for me, okay? Almost like you're doing a cobra. Right here. Just come up onto your elbows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That's just gonna help me push a little bit more into this. Okay. Okay. And then look up for me. There you go. I need to help you decrease some of this curve. There we go. Breathe. 
go. Keep your head up. Good. All right, deep breath here. I'm gonna do one more time through. Okay, good. All right, stay right there. Deep breath in. Yeah. Alright, good. Ooh, I got it. Alright, go ahead and relax. There you go. Alright. Alright, now we're gonna do the scraping. First time. First time. Yeah. Yeah, you're already losing. You can feel these knots in here. Yeah. All these little balls. Is this the best way to get rid of them? It's, to me, it's the most efficient way. Oh, you know, the way, best way I can th even explain how the scraping even works, you know, it's like, you can almost think of the muscles like strands of hair. Yeah. You know, and you know what happens if we don't comb, if we don't comb our hair, it right. knots up. Right. And then what happens to the knots of hair? They get old and they die. Right. You can just easily just pull them off. Same thing kind of happens to muscles. They work, they bind, they get tight, and they just ball up on you. Right. So these parts of the muscles just don't get as much blood flow anymore. You know, I'm almost kind of glad you've been doing the cupping. Cupping is, you know, is going to get do a lot of this for you. And I can tell almost where you've had the cupping done and where the cupping has missed. Yep. Cupping hasn't really gone out here in the periphery. Like you're bruising over the rib heads and into the ribs. And the other place they don't go is usually right over the spine. Yeah. You usually keep it over on the muscle, but this I can actually go over the vertebrae and get some of these ligaments and get those to have some proper blood flow, bring the spine some proper nutrients. Because, yeah, you're bruising, like, right there, over the spine. I gotta say, this feels good, though. Yeah. Feels like you're getting your back scratched. Yeah, definitely. Right there. Is that a knot? Yeah. Yeah, the way I can tell, I can feel it through the tool. The tool kind of gives me, a, like, when I go over one of these, it vibrates. Yep. So it tells me exactly where I need to be focusing on. And, you know, if it doesn't bruise, it doesn't bruise, and I move on. You know, I don't stay in one area right. too long because, just like anything, if I could rub the skin too much, it will just give you a friction burn. Right. So I can't spend too long in one area. So if it doesn't bruise, I move on. Next area. Yeah, that'll just help me get right into the lat here. Yep. That's tight. Yeah. Yeah, these are always sore. Yeah, I'm gonna try 
loosen this up first. It's going to be for that side. You can go ahead and relax this one. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's it. It's almost going to go. Yeah, this is your worst side here. Yeah. Are not in, the ears aren't happy with you. break. Right. Is it red? <laughs> yeah, it's getting red. This spot looks like it's going to bruise, but I know it's painful, so I'm like, I'm almost like, eh, I don't want to really go too much. I think that's about as much as you can take, I think. so bad it's like I know it's there but it's gonna be uncomfortable so I think I'm just gonna leave it alone for now
reach underneath the legs, okay? And I'm basically going to pull them over okay. this way. And what I'm going to try to do is basically just giving this a stretch, pushing the spine back that way. Okay. Just kind of giving a little bit of a stretch. Stuff here. Reach underneath. Just going to lift up a little bit. If I can, jeez. There we go. And then just take you this way. So, and it's red like that, that's where it's hurting? That's where most of that oh. gunk is, yeah. Just sitting there, either from past injuries, accidents, whatever happened, you might have been someone hey, hit you there, okay. and it just crimped all that. So just not enough blood flow is going through there. So bringing all that gunk up to the, to the surface is just gonna help bring more fresh tissue. Can you send me that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then this is the neck. Just oh. a little bit. Oh, yeah, okay. Not too bad. Right, right. But yeah, then that's what I was saying down there too. Yeah, having like right over the spine. Right. Yeah, have a bunch of congestion there too. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, now just the elbow. Just move the elbow back against me. That's it. Cool, let's go. Now I'm going to do the elbow. Good. Wrist here, you're going to lean away from me a little bit. These ones are easy. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so on this foot, you place a lot more weight on the outside. Okay. All right, this one I'm gonna have you bend both knees for me. You can relax the arms. arms. Come down. All right, so this one is for the front of the pelvis. Okay. Okay, kind of get both sides of it moving. Okay. All right, so this one's gonna push out against my elbows for five seconds. All right, go, five. One, relax. All right, now you're gonna press inward toward my palms. So you're gonna press in. Go, as hard as you can. Did it go? No? Do you feel anything move in the front? No, I, I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear anything. All right, try one more time here. Push in, push in, push, 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 push. That's it, that's cool. all it's gonna go. All right, you can come on up for me. Face this wall to your right. Go ahead and we're going to check range of motion here, okay? Go ahead and look to your right. Oh, much better. Yeah. Much better looking left too. Look right. Yeah, much better. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and look up for me, straight up. Much better too. Last time you were probably stopped. Last time you were like there. Right here. That was you looking up. Oh, wow. And you've gone back like another, at least another five, wow. eight degrees. Wow. And that's good. All right, check the shoulders for me. So up and over. Just like this. Yep. A little better, and then go ahead and go underneath. Same one. Relax the relax the hand. Let the palm. There you go. 
a little better. All right, go ahead and relax this one. Do the same thing with the left arm. Up and over. Yeah, a little better too. Okay. Underneath. Yeah, we made some improvements for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's much better. Before you were like down, down there. Right. Okay. All right, you can go ahead and stand up for me. All right. And then I'm gonna have you stand right here at the bottom of the table. Okay. Facing this way? Yeah, you're gonna face us. Yeah. Okay. And then just um, how the legs feel? Feel, feel great. Feel good. Yeah. How the arms? Loose. Ankles, knees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely all, loose. Yeah. How's yeah. the how's the back feel after we've loosened that? A lot better. A lot better. Well, yeah, a lot better from when I walked in. Okay. Definitely a lot better. Okay. Oh yeah. It's not as tense or tense, tender. Yeah, it's just loose now. It feels a lot better. Okay. Yeah. All right. 